Uh, okay, look. Um, hi, this is uh, an attempt to explain uh, Babbage's uh, anticipating carriage. Uh, what he called carriage by anticipation. You can actually see his. Uh, I don't think that's his handwriting, which is way too neat. Um, I think this is his assistance diagram. Um, carriage by anticipation. So this is Babbage's own proudest achievement. He called this um, the most important part of the analytical engine. Um, it's certainly um, very clever, and it's probably the most complicated part of the analytical engine. Um, the purpose of this uh, thing was to shave um, several seconds off the amount of time it took to do uh, a simple addition. Um, if you remember, uh, the difference engine adder has the carry-arms that spiral up, and um, the reason it has those carry-arms is because it has to check that there's no um, carry that's being generated uh, by a carry below it. Um, so if you have something that uh, that adds up to 9, um, but then if 1 is carried from below, which brings it to 10, which then creates a carry above it, um, uh, for this reason you have to check each gear um, as you go up to do the carries. And that takes about, oh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds or so on the difference engine. And um, that was 20 seconds too long for Padage. Um, so he created this thing, um, which does all the carries in a single uh, go. Um, now, uh, I'm going to try to make this quickish. Uh, the, the analytical engine was designed for 50 decimal places, so you have to picture this as this huge column. Um, this is only uh, five, or four actually, but... Um, uh, the bits that we're looking at here um, are, this is going to be the result, the orange one here. This is the feeder, so this is going to pick up basically um, the numbers from the memory, um, or from a card, or from another result from the engine. There's a lot of information paths that the engine could take, um, but uh, it would pick the number up, feed it into the adder, and then give the result out this way. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look at how this, this works. So um, just as a quick overview, feeders pick up number one, come up and mesh with the adder, read number one off, go back down, pick up the second number, come back up, read the second number off. So um, let's actually add these two together already. Uh, then they disengage because their work here is done. Uh, and then it does the carry. Uh, and you can see the carries are all done at once. Um, the, um, so each, if we go over that a little more slowly, um, the addition is actually very simple because it's just, uh, if this is at zero, so this is at zero, um, the number is read off, so the number here, 24, um, the, the numbers go top to bottom. Um, so this is 2,463, I think. Um, but if you just look at 24 for now, um, so this is 24, this is 0. All it does, it goes up its meshes and it goes to 0. Um, and because the numbers are written the opposite way here, um, or rather, the, the gear turns this the opposite way by going um, from 2 to 0, it just pushes this from 0 to 2. Uh, that's all that's happening there. Um, so same thing, this goes from 4 to 0, making this go from 0 to 4. So this is now 24, and this is 0. So it just transfers the number over um, by going to 0. Then it scoots back down, picks up the second number, so in this case it's uh, 35. Uh, scooches up, and then it reads 35 off. And you can see by, by reading 35 onto the, um, the wheels that are already holding 24, um, it al already adds it together. So if this is already at 2, uh, and this is at 3, by adding 3 uh, onto the 2, it, it adds them together. So that's now at 5. So um, the, the, most of the addition is done now except for the carry. Um, so this is adding uh, 23 to 45. If you just look at the top two uh, gears here, you can see... Uh, 
so 24, no, 35, sorry, 35 to 24, so that's at 35, that's at 24. Just by going to zero, now this now reads 59, and this is at zero, so um, that's most of the business done. Um, the carry is the tricky bit, so all of this stuff here is just to do the carries. Um, if we look at a bit without a carry, um, you can see this doesn't move. The number now is there correct, because the, uh, these two are meshed together, so this will always read the same as this before the carry. Um, so it adds them together, and, and then it's done. It doesn't move again. Um, the two things that move always um, with the carry are these blue bits here always go up. And these red things here always turn one degree. So if there are, are nine degrees, actually, is what it takes to turn a digit. So um, uh, anytime, if these are meshed, they will turn and add the one. So carry the one. Um, if they're not meshed, they'll turn anyway, but they're not turning anything, so they're just turning. Um, so this, that's all the carries. Um, a normal carry, down here, is, um, I don't know quite why this is as complicated as it is, um, because uh, what's happening here is as this goes past, so this, um, this number here, uh, this gear here is taking um, six and seven. So that's the six goes down, picks up the 7, brings up the 7, and that gives us 13. Um, to get to 13, it has to go past 0. As it goes past 0, it says, ah, now we need to carry a 1. Every time it, this turns past 0, it turns this little uh, green thing at the bottom. See that more clearly there? It's got this little hook. And that little hook pushes around this little lever, and that lever turns this blue thing and that blue thing is now positioned so that it's uh, under this little ledge uh, on this purple thing. And then the purple thing, when the blue thing lifts, because it's under the ledge, it lifts the purple thing, which lifts the red thing, which meshes it together, which carries the one. Um, that's a lot of stuff for something that's very simple. Um, but there's a good reason for every single part of it, um, all for reasons of efficiency and uh, error freeness. Um, if you look at the one that isn't warned, worn, but that is called worn, so there's no carry. So if the blue thing is not turned, then it just slides up in that gap in that purple widget, not lifting it. If it is turned by a carry, turns under, now it's under those ledges, lifts it up, which means it lifts up the red thing as well. Um, so that's a simple carry, and then when this turns, then it just goes. Um, that's a simple carry. Uh, now the question is, what happens if uh, this is at nine, which it is? Um, so that's added up to nine, uh, and then it needs to carry the one, which means that even though this addition is done here, um, the carry will generate a carry on this wheel. Um, and Babbage was. Um, very proud of this thing, which he called, um, he called this teaching the engine to foresee and to act on that foresight. Uh, and basically what he meant was this sort of gives the engine a way to know um, that there's going to be a carry generated. And it, it does this in a sense with, um, almost with a logical and. Um, basically what I mean by that is that it's, um, uh, using this, uh, anytime this is at 9, it brings this uh, red thing in between the two purple ones. So that way, if, the purp if this purple one lifts, it now lifts the one above it. Um, even if it wouldn't be lifted, um, which it wouldn't, because this hasn't been, a, uh, there's no carry on this one up here, so this thing has not been turned. So it's just, it would just freely slide up through that gap. Um, this purple thing is being lifted by this chain of this purple, this purple, this purple. So if this is carried, 
So if this bottom one is lifted up, sorry, if this bottom one is lifted up by the one below it, and there's a thing uh, in the way, then it will generate a carry up above it. Um, so you could, in theory, have, you know, a situation where you have um, all of these lined up. So if you have, you know, 1,999, um, all of these will lift up, carry the, um, carry all of the carry levers up together, and then when they go, they'll turn everything together um, to zero. So that will give us the, you know, boom 2,000 off of, um, off of one turn. Um, so that's the anticipating carry. Um, I hope that's clear. I'm not sure if it is. Uh, it takes some getting your head around it, and maybe the best way to do that is to um, build it yourself. Um, I'll put the plans up so you can have a go um, if you want to thoroughly waste uh, a weekend that is uh, 